Hey everybody, this is Leon De Star, and in this video I'm going to show you the integration of the awesome C sound uh, with the awesome Milky Tracker. So, um, let's start with a use case. So here we have um, a, a pattern. And we have this sample here which is very short. So C sounds is basically a plugin host, uh, an arrangement uh, composing system. It's, 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 I don't know. And it's mind blowing. It can do everything. It's a bit like, uh, the Chuck Norris of, um, sound design. And, through this scripts context menu, you can select basically C sound files. These are CSD files. Uh, that's the file format of C sound. And um, since this is a short sound, let's go for a reverb. So, boom, we have this pop up now. We can press preview. And as you can hear, this is a pretty good sounding reverb. It is the open source freeverb algorithm. And right off the bat, the default settings, the, it, it always sounds pretty good. Uh, not too much lows, not too much low mids. It's pretty nice. So, so let's press apply. Now, as you can see in the background, um, maybe you can see it where is it? yeah here you can see the command so it's basically processing um, this sample here here you can see it it just uh, applied the um, the reverb basically what happened is that uh, milky tracker uh, was sending this sample to C sound using um, in dot wave and C sound was processing it and wrote the result to out dot wave and that's basically it it's super simple um, just to show you how awesome C sound is as an extension for milky tracker um, let me just show you even though like maybe you're not a programmer you don't know anything about code etc just let me show you how simple this plugin is. So, boom, this is reverb.csd. So this is just text, it's just a text file and it fits on an A4 paper. So this is pretty crazy, right? Like uh, we, we have an amazing reverb. Uh, we don't need it to do any uh, license activation or installing of plugins it's just a text file so that is amazing so basically if you have a couple of these text files uh, could be synthesizers could be effects then uh, just put it on a USB stick or on a cloud drive and you basically have a studio which will last forever because uh, the the C sound community uh, in you can check discord or, or forums like they are really focused on backwards compatibility so this is this is a really good investment but anyways going back to what is actually going on here uh, it has one instrument which is basically calling this free verb um, opcode they call it opcodes and that's it it's uh, I, ca I can even if I'm like, hey, I don't like the reverb, it's too uh, dark, I want to put a high pass filter on it, then I can just find the uh, opcode for a high pass filter. But you don't need to know how to write the C sound stuff to, to use C sound. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, I just wanted to show you how, how beautiful and simple uh, C sound processing is uh, from a, from a, uh, coming from a, um, a background of using uh, binary plugins like DLL files or Linux plugins. This is ah, this is such a relief. Like I can really trust this 
and I don't have to worry that uh, on my next computer uh, some plugins won't work because of my operating system which is newer etc so this is this is really great stuff um, also just as an example like we just looked at the reverb this was the, the, the effect we were using just look at how much stuff is in a C sound out of the box this is pretty mind-blowing I think <laughs> I was uh, checking out C sound and it actually contains a, a tracker um, text file tracker format as well we call it a score where's score yeah so the standard numeric score so like i'm not uh familiar with writing like this i, I think you can get familiar with it uh, but i also noticed um a converter so if you if you're really serious about c sound and you're like hey why should i use uh, other applications at all i mean you can I think you can do anything in C sound like it's it's pretty crazy but I found something like XM to SCO what was it some kind of yeah this one so this guy um, he basically wrote um, two applications which can uh, turn uh, a fast tracker module which is basically the format of milky tracker so it can turn these patterns into a seo file which is a score file which is basically this format which you can just put into a c sound file crazy right so there is um you can go back and forth between c sound and um, milky tracker so if you don't like if you like c sound but you don't like the score then uh, if you are used to milky track you can just convert your module to uh, c sound which is pretty crazy i i haven't really tried it but it's amazing that that is possible so there you have it it's a c sound integration and as a last um, example uh, there's also a, a, a file picker where you can just uh, pick your own csd file um, and then it will load it as well um, but I like I'm really a fan of using effects uh, using shortcuts uh, using the this uh, just putting them here so that's um, which is uh, to be really precise which is this file scripts.txt this is where you can put the um, the context menu shortcuts so here you can see this season reverb which i used is just calling this command and this is uh this is yeah you don't have to worry about these uh, percentage s but yeah there you have it that's how you can add these um, shortcuts all right i hope you enjoyed it and um see you in the next video cheers